Good morning, folks. We're going to glide nice and easy into the last weekend of the year. We'll hit three interesting papers on lightning, a growing idea in the science community, and a space weather disaster model. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and folks, this is what quiet looks like. We had one small filament lift away from the left side, the incoming limb, but otherwise, basically nothing. Even the M-class flares have basically disappeared. We are all quiet up there, and that is kind of unexpected. First, let's take a peek at the GOES X-ray flux. There's the dropout in solar flares. The more frequent events have been in the high C-class range for several hours now. And this is surprising because there are a lot of sunspots with the potential to make those flares, and bigger ones. Four different areas could erupt with significant power, and for the last day, they've simply decided not to do anything at all. Also, folks, we see some very brief density and plasma speed shock waves showing up in the plasma temperature in green at the bottom as well. Very faint, very weak, no geomagnetic storms from the solar wind events. So, we're off to an interesting article, Unusual and Rare Lightning Events in Hurricane Nicholas. They caught four transient luminous events and a megabolt, a mega flash of lightning. Link to the full article is below. Up next, folks, for years, there have been whispers and quiet discussion, even among the mainstream climate scientists, that the oceans were what actually controlled the planet, not a few millions of atmospheric chemistry. Well, this is about the loudest floodgate opening you could ask for. The 2023 heat anomaly was caused by a sudden release of thermal energy from the ocean. Link to that one is below as well. And lastly, folks, we come to a study about hypothetical solar disaster and economic losses therefrom. As usual with these studies, it's not looking at a super flare, but something similar to 1859, which would disable a considerable fraction of the electrified world today. So yes, there are scenarios 10 to 100 times worse than this one, but this paper is pretty informative. We greatly appreciate your support. Whether you want to come see us in person or you want to grab our books or shirts or anything else, go to observerranch.com. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.